Hey guys, Darko Cyclone FPV, and we are now doing part three of our uh, setup of the uh, FreeSky Apis uh, M60 uh, mini, mini, mini drone right here and the uh, uh, FreeSky uh, X9 Lite transmitter, right? This was the kit that we did for some of the school districts and the videos actually help whether you're, whether you're using all of the kit or just parts of it, um, th these videos should help you get everything set up, right? So uh, at the point where we're at now is we've already, we've, we did the video, video uh, part one was building the drone. Uh, part two was uh, getting this activated out of the box. Now part three is gonna get these set up in beta flight. So we've already bound them in part two at the end of part two. Now part three is getting beta flight set up and, and showing how we're gonna do this, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a three screen split again. So one, two, three. And uh, let me go ahead and get beta flight open first. Okay, and then let's go that way. All right, so there we are. So we've got beta flight, uh, whoops, over there. And then we've got uh, the transmitter and the quad and then me, All right? So here we go. What we want to do at this point is part of the requirement for this TSA racing drone uh, series is uh, that you have to program it yourself, right? So you need to kind of understand what uh, to expect from this drone, uh, from this quad. So we're going to go ahead and plug in our USB, right? We're going to have beta flight loaded. And if you don't have beta flight loaded, make sure to go download it. Uh, just uh, I'll, I'll put some links up here for you to download it. But you're going to need beta flight, right? And uh, let me see if I can help you find it real quick. So if you go to our website here and you go to... Uh, tutorials, I believe, and I think if you just type beta flight uh, in our tutorials, uh, let me see, uh, go to beta flight download, right? And then you should be able to get right here. And then I think I give you the link. So beta flight download link is going to be right there. And then from there, you could find your beta flight uh, file, whichever one you need. Okay. And the downloads and everything that you need are on this page right here. You can start downloading. Okay. So you can use that from our website right there. All right. So anyways, getting back to this now, once you get beta flight loaded, uh, you're gonna plug in your quad right here and you're gonna see that your COM port is, is activated here and we can go to connect now, all right? And once we connect, we're basically gonna let this drone, uh, you know, get right over the USB and what's gonna come on this um, uh, setup here is a default from the factory, okay? So I want you to understand that first. Now, um, just to make sure I'm right about this, I wanna verify that everything is set because we're gonna make, okay. So this is the default from the factory. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to make a copy of this file, um, okay? And uh, by typing the word dump here. And when I type that, that's gonna give me everything that I need. And I'm gonna put this on our website on the, um, on, the uh, on a link here uh, on the page for this drone so that you can always get the default back if you need to, so you can copy and paste it. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, I'm gonna just copy all this and I'm gonna make a file out of it right here. And let me click File, New. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna paste this here. All right, and then I'm gonna save as, um, and let's just do a, and I'll put it in a customer download section, I guess. So we go here, and then we'll go to customer, customer shared files. And then let's do a new folder and let's do FreshSky. Okay, and let's go in there. And then let's go and put uh, M60. Uh, dump file dash beta flight okay and then I'm gonna put that in here and you'll be able to download this so um, it was uh, m60 uh, dump file dash beta flight dot txt and I'll give you that link so you can always copy it and paste this back if you happen to damage your file or do something uh, to your system right so all right so we're back here everything's fine so now I'm just gonna click exit all right and what it's gonna do is disconnect our drone and reboot it and then we're gonna go ahead and click connect and we're gonna wait one second. All right, <clears throat> now I told you when we were building this that uh, FreeSky sends this with the motors backwards, right? So they're spinning the opposite direction. So what you're gonna notice is um, when you go to configuration, you're gonna see here that they've already selected this in the setup where it is motor direction is reversed. So we've got ones and four usually spinning clockwise or now counter and two and three are clockwise and we already set that up. Everything else is set up the way they've done it. Um, there's a couple things here that I would adjust. The first one is going to be that um, I want the props to spin when they're armed. So I'm going to uh, click remove that and I'm going to adjust this to be at let's say 1050, let's say, and just click save and reboot. Now I haven't gone through the rest of the setups here. I just gone through a couple of things that I know I wanted to change. All right, so I would recommend if you want to do that, this is how you can, um, oops, sorry, let me go ahead and reconnect now.
Okay, now, configuration, okay. So uh, we're gonna look at everything else here. Uh, for right now, I'm not gonna mess with much on this side. I will go and go to the CLI and type version because I wanna see what version of the um, uh, flight controller we have. Uh, and so hopefully we should get an answer here in just a second. Okay, there it is. So you're spacing F3 Evo, and this was done November 6, 2017. Uh, we can go ahead and let's see about updating it, right? So remember that information right there, and we're going to click Update Firmware. Now, I don't know if there is an update to this. We're going to find out. So we're going to go down to our... Um, uh, wait for this to pop. It takes just a little bit. Let's just see what they've got. It may not even be worth messing with. Spracing F3, uh, F3 Evo right there. And they do have a new version out, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and so let's leave everything else like it is. We're gonna load the firmware and let's flash it. Okay, there we go. So it's gonna erase the, the, the setup. Flash real quick. All right, programming successful. So now we can connect. There we go. All right, now let's see where we're at. Okay, we go to ports. I believe that what they did is they had UART port two for serial. So we're gonna save on that one. So make sure you set UART two. Now we could copy and paste what they did, but we're gonna go through this a little bit more. All right, so let's go ahead and click connect. Okay, we're gonna go to our configuration. We are running a brushed motor right here. Uh, and we will do a uh, 1070 should be fine. Uh, I'm going to change this here to 4 and 4, and let's see if it'll even accept it. And we're going to call this, uh, you name it whatever you want, but I'm going to call this uh, M60. There we go. Okay, and we are going to, uh, nope. And uh, I don't know about all the rest of these yet. I'll have to see how I want to do this one. Uh, we'll take telemetry off for now, um, and we will, let's see what else we want to do. Anagravity is fine, air mode, I'm going to turn these off, and we'll adjust these accordingly. I'm going to take that, I'm going to take all of that off, okay? Uh, but we are going to change this to serial based with uh, SBUS, okay? So we're going to try this and see how this, how well this does, okay? And we are going to tell it that the motors are in opposite direction, okay? Okay, let's click save. Now we'll connect again. All right. Okay, now I, we're gonna be, this is gonna be hit and miss on here. So we're gonna be testing this a little bit. Um, so let's go now to our uh, we need to power up our quad here because now that it's bound, we need to power this up so we can get the transmitter to do what we need it to do. So go ahead and power it up by plugging your battery in, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and power up the transmitter. Welcome to our TX. Okay. And we're going to go to receiver here. Make sure that we have a, a link between the two. And we should. Let me see what is happening here. Let me see. There we go. All right, so I should have probably disconnected the USB port first. So I did that. Okay. Now we're plugged in. All right, and now we're gonna reconnect. So make, make sure you unplug your USB cable. All right, before you put the battery in. Let's get connected real quick.
it seems to take a while, so just have patience with this. Okay, so here's our quad here. Now to make sure our orientation is right, this is the front. I want to make sure everything moves like it's supposed to. It does, so our orientation is good. You don't have to worry about that. Um, all right, so we want to go to our receiver now and make sure that everything looks right, right? So first thing we want to do is we notice that our uh, the yaw here is at 1496 and it needs to be at 1500. Now we did a calibration, right? But we're gonna try it again. So let's hold the menu down, click page. Uh, whoops, let me go back there. Until you see calibration right there, go ahead and hit the button, uh, put everything in the center, hit enter to start, and set the sticks to the midpoint. Okay, so now let's just go ahead, go up, down, up, down, maximum. Okay, left, right. Okay, left, right, up, down. All right, all right. So I'm gonna hit enter when we're done. Now, I wanna see if that helped our number. So you see now how our yaw is at 1500. So our calibration just wasn't uh, perfect yet. But even when you get to here, if you notice that you're not able to hold it, and you need these to be at 1500, okay? So what you wanna do now is, let me show you. You need to have your ranges between 1000 and 2000. This is a good rule of thumb, but on all of these, they're gonna be excessive. So what we do is we do the following. We go page. Sorry, press page, uh, sorry, press menu and then page. And watch your screen here until you get to your outputs, right? So right here, channel one output, we're gonna edit. We're gonna hit enter, go to edit. And let's see where we're at with our uh, channel one. Okay, so right here, we're looking at our roll, all right? And it needs, it's at 1987 on minimum. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your cursor down to minimum, click it once so it starts blinking, Hold your minimum and start going to the right to increase it and watch your screen. And you're gonna see as you roll this thing, you're gonna start getting to a thousand. When you get to a thousand, let go, hit enter. Now go to the maximum, take your cursor down to the maximum, go to the maximum, click it and roll it until you get to 2000. And when you get to 2000, let it go, hit enter. This is perfect. You have now 1000, 2000 and 1500 in the middle. Now you're gonna hit exit exit and go to the channel two. Channel two, all right, is going to be uh, right here next to roll. So this is your pitch. So again, on your minimum, you need to increase it because your minimum is 988. Go ahead and click it and roll it until you get to 1,000. And just watch your beta flight screen. When you see the screen, read 1,000, enter. Now take your cursor down to the maximum, push this to the top, click it, roll it to the left until you decrease it down to, whoops, down to 2,000. Let it go and hit enter. Now you've got both of these right. Now we're gonna to go to uh, three and four, right? So on three and four, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to um, our yaw here. So let's exit, go to our channel three, edit, go to our minimum, hold it to the left, click it and start rolling it up. Whoops, that's gonna be for our throttle. My, my apologies. Let me see where I'm at. Yeah, sorry, let me do this. Channel three is gonna be my throttle. So I'm gonna look at my throttle right now and channel four will be the, the yaw that we're working on. So on channel three for throttle, leave your stick all the way down and just roll it until it reaches a thousand. Then take your throttle all the way up, go to your maximum, scroll down until it reaches 2000, okay? All right. And then in your middle, if you should be able to eyeball it, it should be around uh, 1500 or so, which it is. Okay, so now let's go to exit and go to channel four, which is our yaw, edit. Now that is where we're gonna go and we're gonna go to our minimum and click it and scroll up till it reaches a thousand. Okay, go to our maximum and then scroll down until it reaches 2000. Okay, and now we are pretty set, all right? Okay, so the next thing is gonna be that we've got our, our channels here, right? And the channels by default, the way it was set up on the radio are incorrect, so here's what you're gonna to wanna to do. So click exit, okay? And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set up these channels. We're gonna go to, we're gonna press menu and then press page, press page again, press page again. And we've got uh, our options here. So channel five here, this is on inputs, right? So on channel five inputs, uh, just click it and then go to input and scroll till you get arm. Type the word arm, A-R-M, okay? There you go. And then go down to name and again, type arm. A, R, 
yeah. Okay, and hit exit, there we go. Go down to source, and we're gonna use this as our arm switch, okay, which is gonna be auxiliary run for us. So click source, and flip this toggle SA back and forth. Okay, hit okay, hit exit. Go down to number six, input, and call this one MOD. M, and this is gonna be for mode, but they only allow you three letters right here. Okay, so mode, whoops. Okay, and then go down to name, and now you can type the whole word mode. Okay, when you're done, hit exit so it stops. Now on source, flip this switch over here to the far right. That's your SC switch, okay? When you're done, hit enter, then exit. Go back, and now for seven, we're gonna do our fail safe. So for here, we're gonna type FAI, so F, a, I, okay, and then go down and type fail, F, A, I, L, okay, hit exit. For source, we're going to use a three-way switch here, so that's S, B, okay, all right, and hit exit. All right, now you've got three new um, inputs added, now click page, okay, so arm, channel five is arm. So when you're on mixes now, right, you're a page, so hold that down and hit edit. Okay, the mix name is arm. The source, scroll until you find I underscore arm. You see that right there, I underscore arm. That's what we created on inputs. So click that and click exit. For number six, this is our mode channel, right? So hold the enter key down, hit edit. All right, and here we're gonna change the name to mode. So M. Oops, I messed up there. Let me just do M O D E. And then we can just delete these. Scroll all the way to the left to make them go away. For source, you want to find the uh, right here, the mode with the I beside it. That's the input that we made, okay? So when you do that, hit exit. And then for number seven, we're going to do our fail, okay? So we're going to hit edit, and we're going to type this one. Uh, fail. E F A I E F G T K L. Okay, hit exit. Go down here and find the I, small I with the word fail after it. Right there, F A I. Okay, that's it. Now we've got everything set. Now, if you look at your screen, when I flip one switch, it's all individual. You see that? So auxiliary one is arm, auxiliary two is mode, auxiliary three is your fail switch. Auxiliary four is your RSSI. So I'll show you how to set that up. So what we want to do now is we're going to go to modes. Okay, we'll click save here. All right, we're going to go to modes. And we're going to click under arm, we're going to click add range. And we're going to flip our mode switch and it's auxiliary one. Leave it in the center here and drag this over. And what that says is in the middle or in the bottom, we're armed. All the way up, we're disarmed. Okay? Horizon mode, which is your self-leveling mode, right? So on that one, we're going to click add range and we're gonna flip this button, this three-way switch on this side, and we're gonna slide horizon all the way to the end. Now we know that if it's all the way down, we're in horizon mode, self-leveling mode, and if not, then we're gonna be in acro mode and acro with air, okay? And you can add angle if you'd like. So I'm gonna, actually, I'll add angle here. So let's add a range, and we'll say that angle mode <clears throat> is going to be auxiliary two in the middle. So you're gonna have acro with air, angle, and horizon, okay? And angle mode is basically, it limits how far you can tilt this quad, all right? So you don't go crazy on it and start doing backflips. All right, fail safe is the next one. So we're gonna click fail safe, add range, and we're gonna flip this big toggle here, auxiliary three. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move fail safe all the way to the end, all right? In case we accidentally bump it, we, don't, we can go at least one row before we bump it again and actually cut the quad from flying, okay? So that's that. And what we're gonna say now is we're gonna look for uh, where's my air mode? Here's air mode. So we're gonna click add range and we're gonna use the toggle again here. And what we're gonna say is air with acro is over here, position one, okay? So on this switch, what we've done is we said, this is air with acro, or sorry, acro with air. This is uh, uh, angle mode and this is horizon mode, okay? What we said here is all the way down is fail safe, so cut the motors. Anywhere else is nothing. 
and then this is our this is our arm. Okay, so position two and position three would be armed. Okay. So looking back at that, auxiliary two, auxiliary three, auxiliary two again here, auxiliary two here again for three different switch positions, auxiliary one, your arm. Okay, so we're going to click save. All right. Now, I told you earlier that we have this RSSI bouncing right here. This is the actual signal strength from the quad, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to tell it uh, that uh, we want... Um, we're going to type set RSSI, okay, and channel. Now, we know it's channel 4, but it's, it's channel 8 because channel 1, 2, 3, and 4 are our controls. So even though it says auxiliary 4, that's actually channel 8, okay? So we're going to set, set this to channel 8, okay? No, sorry, set RSSI channel uh, equal, I believe, 8. I believe that's right. We'll see if that works. And we're going to click save. Okay, now we're going to click connect. Okay, and there's our RSSI right there. And what you can tell is the far, if I move this away, you see the signal dropping. And then when I bring it back, the signal comes back. Okay, so we're going to do that. And I do not believe, I'm going to have to check real quick. Let me go to configuration here. Don't think we're gonna have OSD on this, but I'm gonna check anyway. Let me just see. If we can, it'd be great. I just can't remember if this is gonna happen or not. Okay, so let's go here. Let's go to OSD. Cannot remember. Okay, so let's assume it does. I'm gonna turn my, my screen on here just to verify. So let me search for the... Um, ETX channel here. Okay, and I know we're going to pick up a camera here in just a second. At least I hope we are. Let me see. Unless our battery is dead. We may be dealing with a bad battery. A dead battery here. I didn't charge it. So let me see. Oh, there we go. Now our VTX, I think, is launched. There we go. Okay. So I've got my screen. I'm just going to see if I can get um, my uh, RSSI on here. So let me see. I'm going to go ahead and drag this over to the top. And I will confirm with you guys shortly if we do get RSSI, okay? I'm trying to see it on my screen, though, and I don't see anything just yet. So I guess we are not going to have... Um, I do not think we're going to have that, but let me just see when I disconnect. Okay, so no, we're not going to have it anyway, so it won't matter, I guess. But uh, it's good for us to be able to see at least. So, um, All right, so we have no RSSI at this point, so it won't really matter. But let me go ahead back and connect here real quick. That was just me practicing with the settings. There's a couple different settings, so we're going to remove OSD off of this because there really is nothing going OSD-wise on here. So let's just go to configuration and leave everything as it was. So I'm going to tell it to remove OSD, and I'll do some more digging and see if there's some more advanced stuff that I want to do on here. Um, but uh, uh, right now, I'm not really sure that we're going to get much else out of this. <clears throat> okay, so on our radio, we're good. Everything says everything's good here, so we can go ahead and click page. We've got all our outputs set. All right, so at this point, uh, and you know what? We might as well go ahead and name our model. So let's go to menu, page, and let's go ahead. Whoops. Let's go here. There we go. A, and then hold it down to get a capital letter. P, U, S, and we'll go M, capital M, M, O, M, we'll go 60, oh, I can't type on this thing, okay, so there's a name, so we can see that at the top there, and uh, we should have everything else ready to go. So we're going to calibrate this, make sure everything looks straight. Now we can go to motors here. Let's just see where we're at, right? 
So if you click on, okay, and you want to see if everything's going to spin, you can tell now, once you activate this, you can tell that we've got everything functioning here. So what I'm going to do now is at that point, uh, if our configuration looks good and everything else looks good, we should be ready to get this thing off the ground. So I'm just going to verify that everything looks decent, uh, and it does. I'm happy with all that. Uh, modes is good. Receiver is good. Um, we have our RSSI. Uh, let me go ahead. I'm going to change this, though, our threshold. Change this to 1,005 and change this to 2,000. Click Save. And what that says is if our stick, if our values here are not below 1,005 for throttle, do not start this quad. Don't allow it to arm, okay? And with that, we're going to go ahead now and disconnect. Okay? And at this point, guys, uh, it comes down to test flying. So what we, should, what we should be able to do now is I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. I'm probably going to need to charge a battery, but I'm going to unplug this. And now I'm going to set my props. And remember, the props are reversed. So it's going to spin clockwise up here. So put your clockwise prop up here. And I'm going to disconnect the battery here. There's no sense in having it plugged in right now. Let's go ahead and put this here. And we're going to put the other one here. And I will go through some more advanced settings, but right now this is basically just to get you guys, show you guys what you need to do, the bare minimum. And I will also copy and paste the working final settings. Okay, uh, I'm sure that we're gonna make some adjustments depending on what I see it do when it's flying, but let's just see if we can get it. Let's see if we can get something to happen. And I will let you guys, we'll try to do it here at the table. Very short flight, as long as it doesn't flip out. Okay, just be careful. Okay, there we go. Now, there's a trick on here to tell it at its level once you plug the battery in. Take your throttle and go hold it to the top left and take your right stick and go straight down. That'll tell this system that it's good and that it's level. Make sure everything else is set. Uh, do we have our, oh, I don't, I don't think I have any power going. So I guess my battery just died too, wonderful. All right, so we're gonna need to try a different battery. Okay, so that battery's dead too. Do you have another battery over there? Any chance? No? Ah, all right, that's okay, that's okay. I just need to find I need to find something that will run. Let me go grab a different one. Oh, here, here's a third one. Let's see if this one will work. All right, so it looks like I got some power here. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna tell it it's level, so I'm gonna top left, straight down, okay? All right, now there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in horizon mode because I'm flying very close to me. Let's, let's, let's give you a bigger screen though, all right? Oh, no, I don't want that either, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna back off here and we're just gonna see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna kill the motor. Let me kill the motor here because And we've got pretty good flight. So it's steady. Um, I think that the resting speed is a little too, a little too high. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that. Other than that, I'll let this, oh yeah. I'd say it's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna adjust. One thing that I don't like is that the motor seem, they're spinning way too fast uh, when it is just idling. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to, um, and I'll show you how to do that. So what we're gonna do is, we're actually gonna go here, one, two, three, there we go. Okay, so it's plugged back in now. I'm gonna go back in to beta flight, and I'm going to tell it to slow down the motors from 1070 to let's just say like 10. Uh, well, let's, let's look, okay? Let's look at, we can go to motors here, and we could tell it, oh, I just disconnected the, the, the battery, and you can't spin the motors without the battery. So let's see what we can do, okay? Let's just go ahead and see what a fair speed is. So. Okay, so let's just say 1020. I think that's fair. So we're gonna go to configuration. 
and we're going to tell it that we want to make it, instead of 1070, we're going to make this 1020. Okay? And let's say save. Okay? There we go. And now, when I disconnect, okay, you go top left straight down. All right, that's much slower. Okay, now let's see what we got. Uh, that's me just messing around, but there you go. Okay. If I can get it towards the face camera, there you go. Just looking at you, right? All right, now we'll land it. Perfect. That flew just like I was hoping. So it's good. Everything seems good. There's no problems here at all. And so that's going to be the configuration I post on the side. I may find some changes, but outside of that, this actually worked very well. So that being said, guys, um, that's pretty much about it. We've got the controller set up. We've got our quad set up. It's ready to fly. All we need to do now is charge some batteries. So I'm going to go charge some real quick. And then I'll put a final video. But that does do it for our three-series video, three-part series on how to set this up and how to set up your radio and everything else. If you have any questions, hit me, at tackle, hit me up at targetcyclonfpv.com. As always, please follow us on Facebook and please subscribe Sorry, to us I on, I don't know why, Siri, no. <laughs> and uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, okay? Other than that, guys, uh, that's it. God bless. Have fun, guys. Good luck in your races for you students that are going to be racing the TSA event. Uh, spend time with your family. Enjoy it, and uh, safe flying. Peace.